Oh, the question for you is, what is your funniest memory for the summer that you want to share with us? Oh, okay, great. Thank you very much. The funniest memory actually happened yesterday. I, I don't know if you know, but I'm a big fan of cooking and I like to make new recipes all the time. And yesterday I was following a recipe for the first time, how to make African peanut stew. It was my partner who made it about half a year ago and I really liked it, so got the recipe and started making it. The recipe says, cook the onions for five minutes. So I'm like, okay, put the onions in the instant pot, set the timer on the microwave for five minutes, and I put the kitchen gloves on and I was washing the dishes. I was just waiting for that timer to finish before I go back and look in the pot and see what would be like. And I don't know if you're familiar with cooking, but if you have one onion chopped up and you put it in a hot pan with oil, it's going to be ready in like two minutes. Five minutes is way too long for onion. So my onion had burned, and not only I had prepared all the other ingredients, I hadn't put them in yet, but I knew that if I had proceeded with this onion, it would have made a really horrible tasting recipe because the black charred onion would make the dish very horrible. So I realized I had to solve this problem, so I wanted to chop a new onion. But in the meantime, I took this very hot pot with onions and oil, and I put it in the sink inside on top of another Instant Pot pot that was in the sink already. So I don't know if the Instant Pot created a vacuum seal, and when you heat up a steel, it actually expands. So this pot actually stuck in the other pot so strongly that I pulled as hard as I could and it would not come apart. And because the pots are there, I can't continue with my recipe because I have to use this one of the pots in the pot to cook it. So I ended up reading online what happens to steel when it heats up. And it turns out that steel will expand when it's heated. So I wanted to do something where if I make the bottom pot expand and the top pot contract, hopefully they'll come apart. So I created a, a warm bath of really hot water and I put a cold ice in the top and it still wouldn't come apart. So I ended up going into the patio, putting the patio chair on the lip of the pot. My partner sat on one chair, I sat on the other chair, and I was like pulling at this pot. And this is 11 p.m. last night. <laughs> I wanted to finish this recipe. So I realized, like, and finally, after about 20 minutes of pulling, the pot came free. I was able to finish the recipe around 11.45. And then finished, it was really delicious. Mm. And I have saved it for today. So that's my most memorable cooking experience for the summer. Thank you. Cool. <laughs>